What's up, everybody? Good evening, good evening to you all. Hope you're all doing well. Just getting my stuff set up. Let's make sure I can see everyone's chat. I think we should be good. All right. How's everyone doing this evening? All right, cool. Looks like chat's up. I'm doing good. How do you say that? Decade? Deek? Is it Deek? Decade? DK? Be curious. Awesome. All right, let me set up my chat here and I'll be good to go. Always on top. Hold on. Background transparent. That's what I want. All right, cool. So I'm just fixing my chat on my end. One second. Making sure I can see the chat all the time. All right, cool. What's up, Yold? Welcome, everybody. Let's get going on this. We'll see as people join through. Um, tonight's going to be my last night on this guy. For those that have been involved, been around, you've seen him already. But since I want to 3D print this, um, a buddy of mine wants to do it. I figure I could take it to the distance here. Um, we could probably get to a point where I key out these arms to show you guys if you've ever done that. Um, I want to actually give this dude a big old smile. I have these kind of goofy teeth right now, which Honestly, I'm torn on. They are kind of just funny that they're so goofy. But um, I want to clean that up, give him a big grin, and then probably pose him so he's not so straightforward like this. Just so if you see him printed, you know, like he has some posing. So that's the thing I'm going to do. And hopefully it'll be good. And I'll just wrap this guy up and move on. Since I've built him the last two streams, um, so probably worked on him, what, five hours? It's not too bad, actually. Five, six hours. Uh, so let's see if we can do this here in the next two hours, because i got a hard stop at midnight tonight. So we'll see how this goes. Ah, all right. How is everyone? Hopefully well. ZBrushing and whatnot. All right. All right. Let's think here. Um, all right. I'm going to go into this grin first I think but I gotta make a plan of sorts can you rebuild the grid in the direction I want in ZBrush are you talking about the the grid on the floor are you talking about the floor grid if are you talking about the mesh I'm not sure which one you're asking I can try and help if I you can clarify that. All right, let's do this. I'm going to the mesh. Okay, so you want to rebuild the mesh in the direction I want in ZBrush. There are ways to help it, um, but you can't direct. Oh, they used to have a tool where you could actually literally rebuild the mesh. But let's use this fin, for example, because I need to do it on this fin anyways. I started this with a sphere and used um, sculptures mode to kind of just block this in and kind of left it at this point. Uh, so now we're at a, a spot where it needs remeshed kind of to your point. Let me see here. Go solo on this. All right. So say we want to clean this up and you want to get a mesh the direction you want. So 
Now, if you aren't aware, you basically run uh, in geometry tab, there's this thing called Z remesher. You can just hit it and it will uh, remesh, right? Like that, and it's pretty good. Um, but let's say it's not exactly what you want. First, let's clean this up a little. I'm gonna add a little geometry because it's a little ugly there and I wanna help um, this out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remesh this and then I'm probably going to go in and tighten up this top plane and uh, some of these edges. So let's say we want to make the mesh follow this. Z Remesher by default does a pretty good job. So you'll see. It already is following kind of the forms I sculpted. So the more clear forms are, the better it'll do. But if you want to help that, um, you can use this Z Remesher guides. And you can kind of draw on the direction you want it to go. And so let's say you want your loops to kind of follow. Uh oh. There we go. Weird. Anyways, you can draw on loops. That's a little wonky. I might need to make my brush a little smaller. There we go. So you can kind of help it. This is a simple example. Um, so now you'll notice in your settings here, one, you have target poly count. Usually I try to drop it down if it's a small part. You don't want a lot of geo, in my opinion. So here's curve strength. If you'll control, you'll see curve strength sliders used in collaboration with the curves created by Zero Mesher Guides. So uh, a low value will attract your topology edges towards the curves, while a high value will strongly guide the polygon flow. Okay, so a low value will attract your topology edges toward the curves, while a high value will strongly guide the flow. So 50 is the basic strength, right? So you can keep it there, so we can hit that. I mean, this is probably going to follow it already pretty well. Look, it's not even as good as <laughs> what I... What I what I gave it, it's like worse. That's funny. Curve strength. Let's raise it. Anyways, that's how you do it. Um, oh, I haven't done the poly paints um, style. To be honest, that uh, I should actually look at that. How does that work? So let's see here. Keep groups, detect edges. Um, okay. So use poly paint. Use poly paint button tells you to pay attention to poly paint or different local polygon density as it creates new topology. Yeah, the color. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Purple, red specifies a higher poly count. Yeah, I get that. So where's the one that affects the curve or the edges? Huh. Okay, let's try. We're going to try this out before we get going on the other stuff. All right, let's clear those. Let's go to our standard brush uh, and fill black. I guess we could take it fill. Now, you just said, I assume I fill white then and then paint black where I want edges. Okay. Um, let's try this. I mean, it kind of was already doing this, but let's try anyways. This might not be the best example. It's taking longer. Okay, that's good. How different is it if I clear poly paint? All right, let's try it again. Use poly paint. Does adapt button have anything to do with it? Adapt is basically it. Oh, I see. It does affect it. I'm going to have to try this on more complicated meshes. Huh. I've never used it that way. I've only used it for adding density, not for attracting edges. So anyways, that's cool. 
Anyways, you use some of these tools if um, you want to guide the flow a bit for yourself. I suggest looking into those. Um, Adapt basically just gives ZBrush the allowance to kind of, here, if you just read what it says, it says, uh, ZBrush will give the adaptive skit, oh, sorry, if I can only read. Okay, button activated, ZBrush will give the adaptive size setting higher priority than the target polygon count because of the adaptive density mode. Basically, I think based on the geometry itself, it might go above the target poly count or whatever it needs to hit the, f the form more than the poly count. So if you turn this off, then it's going to care more about the poly count. So like, for example, right now, uh, how much geometry is on this? This has 4,000 points, uh, which is probably close to 4,000 tries. And if you notice, I actually have 1,000 in here. If I turn off adaptive, in Z remesh, it didn't care, but it's less. Eh, that's not a good example. Basically, I think it tries not to care as much. A bunch of obscure things sometimes. I should uh, would have to read up on specifics more for those. All right, let's color fill this thing back to what it was. Let's subdivide a little, and I'm gonna use H polish to get this back to a nice. Uh, Got to turn my dynamic off here. You'll notice my brush is only getting so big. When I turn off dynamic, it lets me go bigger. I don't know the exact reason what dynamic is for. It does something. What's up, Project Eroid? They say. So I was just talking about that. Today I'm going to wrap up this guy as the plan is to 3D print him. So uh, I've worked on Sharkman, Jawsome, the past two streams. Tonight's all about wrapping him up. I want to give him a proper smile with big old teeth and then probably prep it for printing if we uh, have the proper time and show you how to make keys and stuff for those that maybe haven't seen that before. It's pretty cool. Um, thank you. Uh, thanks, Neil. Um, it's pretty cool. My buddy started printing the Kuma sculpture I made on the new Formlabs 3 printer, and he was raving about the printer. So I'm excited to see when he gets a solid print out of that thing. Oh, shoot. I haven't had mirrored on this whole time. Let's, let's mirror it over. Um, I could upload it, possibly. I traditionally haven't, to be honest, uploaded my stuff. But since this is just like a fun character, I probably don't really care, since it's just mine. As long as people don't um, try to sell it. So, if, or if like one of you want to print it, you could just contact me. Uh, okay, what was I doing? I was, I was mirroring. Cool. Now let me turn symmetry on. There we go. So yeah, my goal tonight will just be to kind of wrap this up, answer any questions, that type of thing. I want to move on from this after this. This is one of the few times I sit down and just sculpt something for fun. So if I don't finish it, it's hard for me to find um, the time to do it. Let's use a planar brush. Oh, all right. I got a thing from work there. Let's do this. Try and get a nice plane here. You know, I was thinking um, I should make other shark types or other like sea animals, like in their 80s beach themes. Yeah, this is just my character. I, I literally started it um, during Shark Week here and said, let's make something fun with a shark and came up with this thing, which then turned into people referring to the shark cartoon back in the day. 
So it's just my dude I made for fun here on stream. We literally were like, we're going to make Shark Guy with 80s theme. He's got to have neon and be a cool vibe. Oh, could have scars. I kind of like that he's clean, though. He's just a good dude. Good shark. All right. I'm going to stop there on that. That's probably good enough for what we need. Got good planes. It's plenty. All right. So the real elephant in the room for myself, at least, is a smile. I kind of really want to try and give him an actual smile um, of some sort. I almost want to do like a half smile. So I'm going to duplicate this and leave the original for now and just kind of jam on this um, and see where we can get on this. So I'm going to hide the teeth because I, I want him to have like a big grin of teeth, a stack, like all sharks, you know. Um, when I think of like the Finding Nemo shark or things like that, that guy has like tons of teeth. What's up, Skull? So that's kind of what I'm thinking. So instead of overthinking this, I think I'm going to just go for it. Oh, you know what I was going to do? I was going to paint it in Photoshop real quick. Let me switch over there. Hey, and if I start talking about ZBrush and I'm like on the ZBrush side, just tell me. Because, yeah. Like right now, you guys should see Zebra. You should see Photoshop. Oh, you do. That's my. The that's ZBrush. That's a ZBrush image. I was confused there for uh, a second. What's up, Marty? Welcome for those that haven't seen my little Jawsome character yet. Um, I don't have a name. I need to come up with one though. Hold on, I need a smile image. Just a second. I'm gonna search one here on the internet. I was looking for one earlier. One second. Looking for a reference. Okay, I think I've looked enough. Oh, the shark from uh, the lobster. That's funny. So, so I'm thinking just tons of teeth. Maybe bring this out. All right, I think I can roll with this kind of thing. It's a big old smile. Might even go bigger. I could see us making it really big. I just need to see some mouth angles. All right, let's do this. I'm going to get, there's this monkey image that I'm looking at. Sorry if you guys can't see this real quick, hold on. Okay, I found a good one. All right, let me save this. We're gonna bring it into ZBrush. All right. Thanks, Captain. Appreciate it. All right, let's switch back over to ZBrush. Nope, oh, not that one. This one. Okay. Oh, Brian, he definitely does CrossFit. 
He does beach CrossFit. Most definitely. Probably lots of pull-ups. Oh, I forgot I had this image too. And downloads. There it is. It's smooth. This smooth monkey here. All right. Is that this one? Smooth looking guy. Looking good. And this is the one I was thinking of from Nemo. It's a little more sinister than I need, but I like the teeth. Yeah, this guy is the type that just does pull-ups all day to get those types of biceps at the beach. Can just do strict pull-ups for days. And for everyone, make sure you always turn off samples, spotlight projection. Thanks, Brian. Brian, you got a stream. You already do enough, I think, but it would be fun to watch you. Um, how do you scale this thing for 3D printing and ZBrush with real-world scale? Um, I don't do a lot of to scale. I don't do a lot of printing. But I would assume you could go about it a couple ways. One, you would have a reference something in your ZBrush scene to, to scale to. Um, also, ZBrush doesn't seem to care too much about scale as long as when you're outputting, you know what size this thing is supposed to be. So, like, for example... Um, your FBX, well, not even that, your, where is it? Your exporter, I'm spacing. Yeah, this 3D print hub, for example, you can put in the size you want it on export. So, for example, that Akuma I was doing, my buddy said, I can print it at 100 millimeters, or 10 centimeters. And I said, okay, cool. And it was funny, me not doing my math right, I put in a thousand millimeters and he was like, you gave me a, a model that was a hundred inches tall, but it didn't matter in the end. I think if you're doing professional work, you'd have reference files. You'd have very specific things you'd work with. I would assume that would be my guess. But a lot of these 3d apps, as long as you have, um, uh, Oh, you know what we should do? Little pro tip here. Let's make a cylinder. We're going to put it in his mouth. Yep. Um, what was I just talking about? Scale? I don't know. Got distracted because what I like to do whenever I'm working on a mouth is set up kind of the um, like the muzzle you want. So in this case, he's gonna have big old teeth. We should probably kind of set up the skull structure under there a little bit, and then we can sculpt around it. It'll at least help, and it doesn't have to like stick to it one to one, but it'll definitely help us form like to make it feel like its teeth in there. And then I could probably just sculpt teeth on here. CEO of Walmart. Is that an inside joke I should be aware of? Hmm, let's think here. How important is real structure here for me? I should know the angle of the skull for this. It's actually a good question. Like, not that I have this anatomically correct shark or anything. I guess a normal shark, it would go back, not down like this. So, I want to have a happy medium, I think. Let's see this. Right. Am I making a monkey shark? By he has arms, if that's what you mean. Oh, because my reference. No, I just love this monkey's grin. It was inspiring. If my shark can look ha half as happy as this monkey, 
then we'll be good. Then we'll be good. So that should be our, the goal here. All right, so good thing I have topology, right? Um, I always tell new people sculpting, try to keep your meshes as low as you can because, or at least have topology like this um, because it helps you edit. If you just try and purely sculpt this stuff always, it gets really tough. Let me mask off this top area. Oh, wrong one. So basically we need to kind of straight up top and then bring this down. Give him a big old grin. And I kind of wanted to give one side a little smirk. Like parts of, part of me wants to have him winking. So basically, I just don't know how it would come through in the um, sculpture, but let's try. I'm going to break my symmetry now. So I kind of want it to be asymmetrical on that sense. And then I think he'd wink on, hold on. Would it be his left? It's like a Popeye thing, actually, I think, now that I'm saying this. When Popeye winks, Popeye wink. Hmm. Yes, the Popeye wink. Wait, you think you might look too happy, the monkey? Okay. See, this is what I needed all along is this Popeye image. Brian, I hope you're entertained. This is what you've been missing every night you don't come to this. Entertainment. All right, let me add this guy in. Look at this Popeye. My guy's basically Shark Popeye. Instead of a hat, he has glasses. Um, and he has, they both have big buff arms. Perfect. What's up, Doom? All right, let me scale up some of this again. All right, now I think I'm complete with my ref. Whew. All right. Yeah, if you had some braces, that, that'd be good. All right, let's do this. So I'm going to break the uh, symmetry. you got to do it at some point. Oh, uh, you know what? Part of it, what's good about Popeye Smiles, you see his tongue a little bit. He's kind of just like... Okay, okay. These are like his upper teeth now. All right, all right. I could have had tattoos, anchors. I, I just thought of Popeye just now. That was not my plan. But... Let's see how this goes. If everyone's calling for it, then maybe I can. Oh, you know another nice thing you can kind of do if, if as I start to do this all, like I could just go up, um, store morph target for now, see how this goes. And if I ever don't like a part, I could always Always, uh, I gotta look at some blink ref, especially sharks that blink. I'm not, I'm not even sure. 
we'll have to see. Especially to keep him happy. I'm totally winging this. <laughs> this is this is silly. Look, sharks might not blink, but this one does. The shark also sharks also don't have big guns, do they? So, what do you think of that? Yeah, I think a half blink might be the way to go. Something in between. Whatever that was a half blink. Hmm. This is why you typically plan out your stuff before you do it. Oh, I think something like this could be good. Like, okay, maybe this is what you meant. Like, lower the brow in a nice way, though, you know? Oops. All right, this... The goal is, if this is printed, so you should be able to kind of see it from The problem is sharks, my guy's eyes are so separate that, you know, Popeye, you see both eyes. You know he's blinking. He's, this is going to be like a cool guy look, it looks like, as I'm doing this. He's going to be a cool dude. All right, let's not spend too much time on this part yet, because I think I first need to get through. Um, other parts to really fill it all out. Yeah, the blink. Might make him look too savage. He might just need the big grin. And make it like offset a little so he's kind of goofy. That's that's better feedback than anything. And also could maybe even do stuff where like I just like raise his eye like out of um, like more like hey, you know. And even um, say like, instead of going the blink route, I could make one eye really big route. Like, hey there, I'm extra happy. Something like that. Let's see here. You guys are seeing I have fake reflections in here. I've been had. He's getting crazy. My guy's getting crazy. All right, let's keep him nice. <clears throat> yeah, he needs that like awkward big smile too. Like, hey, I'm taking a photo. That type, that type of thing. I gotta break asymmetry at some point, anyways.
Oh yeah, totally, Mikey, you're right. You know, I don't have time for reference anymore. We are finishing this thing. But I have a feeling your Mikey reference is spot on. I think you might be right. I just got to clean all this up. Because then I'm going to rotate his head and stuff and make it totally asymmetrical. So, how many of you guys play Pokemon? Because, uh, so I, my, I have a buddy at work. Sorry, Pokemon, the collect card collecting game. I have a buddy at work who's been trying to get me to play Magic the Gathering for a long time. And I just don't have the time. I would love to, I'm sure. I'm sure it's great. I'm sure it's amazing. Um, but my son recently really has gotten into Pokemon the cartoon. And so he's been asking me, um, like, can we play the, the game, like the card game, because he's seen it and his cousins had it. So I said, finally, I said, okay, yeah, yeah, we can go. And so yesterday we went to the um, the store to pick him up. Um, the collect like a starter set. I started playing with him yesterday, and I've never played it before. And it's actually pretty cool. I, I like card games and stuff, and that was my first experience. And so I went into my buddy at work today. And I was like, dude, I started Magic: The Gathering Mini Edition Pokemon. And he was just like, oh, I can't believe you play that game. I think it's. I thought it was pretty cool. I'm not a Magic guy though, so I don't know. I don't know the difference, even though I know magic is way more deep. But I miss the whole Pokemon era. Yeah, dude, Sharkman, he has not missed a single day of traps. He learned most of his trap workouts from Brian Wynia. That dude loves some traps. But anyways, um, uh, yeah, the Pokemon stuff's cool. I totally missed out on it. So I've been, I've been enjoying that with my son. It's been pretty good. All right, so I'm just using Inflate. I'm basically just starting to work. I, I, I need my teeth here, but the main thing I'm doing is just trying to get some nice overlaps. I know that I want this to come over the upper lip, over the lower lip. I probably honestly need to remesh this at some point because this is going to get all stretchy. Nice planes. So they can have one here. And then this pulls down here. Definitely neck game strong. We um, also went to Legoland yesterday, or the day before, whatever it was. That's pretty cool. Have any of you guys been there? We went to the one here in um, Southern California. They uh, have tons of Lego sculptures, which are always really cool. Some pretty fun rides. It's, it's pretty good stuff for kids, for sure. But I gotta say, nothing beats Disneyland. That place is magic. 
Love Disney. All right. We might be able to really push this smile. I feel like. I don't want to lose the. I almost need to make sure it's emphasized in his little temple here. Thanks, Slime. Oh man, Neil, Disneyland is crazy expensive. That is the number one reason I don't go anymore. It's crazy. Passes and like the pass used to be like I'm not gonna say reasonable, pretty reasonable I, I think. Like I remember when, when I got my first pass, I guess it was like nine years ago maybe. And it was for a lot of the year you could go. And on Sundays I think, not Saturdays. I forget which one. And it was like two eighteen or two twenty for the year. That pass doesn't exist anymore. And um, it's crazy. Okay, I don't know if I want to break this yet. Oh man, look how much better that smile looks when I make it huge. It's actually pretty good. Maybe I just need to do this. Really open up the smile. I actually want to force it all inside this shape. I don't want to. The thing about Disney, though, like back on that, though, and its price, it is very expensive. Like, I 100% agree. But man, is that place immaculate. It's crazy. It's really well done. If you guys have never been to Disneyland, it's really cool. I like it. It is very expensive, though. And this summer, from what I understand, has been one of the slowest summers they've had in a long time. And I think it has to do finally with the um, uh, tickets finally getting to a point where people are just can't do it anymore. Just the prices have gone up too much. All right, so it's going to be important to try and make sure you don't lose, like, key. This is where, like, having the low mesh is good because you can quickly um, get wobbly stuff in your shapes where you want it clean. So really make sure you have a good mesh to pull around. Right. All right, so I think I'm going to sculpt some symmetrical teeth and then I'm going to offset them. Yeah, no worries. Thanks for compliments. 
I'll answer any questions you have. If you have any, um, feel free to ask. Otherwise, I'm just going to babble about stuff, which may or may not be interesting. I'm talking about Disneyland. All right, let's see here. Okay, I have it mirrored still. Good. So, definitely want to keep this nice and straight. All right. Darling, what is that emoji? The main thing I'm trying to do is just try to keep this clean as I put this stuff in. And also, a big part of... Um, making stuff feel like it's stretching. Like right now, this does not because it's like super wobble. And what it needs to feel like is it's there's some bone here and this is kind of pulling this way. And, and to do that, we got to keep it some straights and then get the proper, um, try to remove wobbles. Like look at all this. I might need to There's a lot of wobbling going on right here. It's bad. Ugh. It's no good. Let's see here. To kind of have to slowly straighten it out. So this one's better because I got a nice straight and pulling around this right there, which is good. This one's a little wonkier. I need my perspective on. Hey, think, thanks, Project. Project Aroid. Glad you could join. I'm usually um, every other Tuesday. So if you're around check in or follow me on art of Caton. then I, i'll post on there like on my stories when i'm going to stream and stuff on instagram i think it should be on the stream at the bottom of my thing right yep there it is right at the bottom you can see it you can follow me on there if you want otherwise have a good night So I just realized I have that Discord link on there, don't I? I don't think that currently works because they time out. Let me see here real quick. Let me get one. Invite people. Copy. Sorry, I'm getting a Discord uh, update real quick. Boom. There it is. If anyone wants to join, it's not really, I wouldn't say it's an active one by any means, because it's not. I haven't even been using it much. I, I just kind of been sharing it on the stream. How many of us are there? There's like 20 of us on there. But, you know, I figure I'll share it. And then maybe one day we'll use it. Uh, I, I've tried to get critiques going and stuff for the stream there, but no avail. So I think I'm going to get this only to a point and then I guess my thought is I'm going to clean it up at the very end after we get to a point we like and then maybe remesh it all and then I can try and smooth out some of this stuff after we remesh. Thanks Neo. Neo. The fat guy. Neo in his later years. 
Thank you, sir. Glad you like shark guy. All right, let's do the teeth. Okay, shark teeth. I'm not going to get accurate here. Yeah, don't. Oh, man, dude. I live by Randy's Donuts. And for any of you know that what Randy's Donuts is, is so good. I want to go all the time. And I play it off on my kids. Like they, It's like their choice. They're the ones who want to go. And so I'll say to my wife, yeah, we probably should get some donuts. The kids would like that. And really, it's me. The best we have is, is my was daylight donuts. I'm sure they're good. I mean, I I I don't know why there's bad donuts. To be quite honest, doesn't make sense to me. Doesn't make sense. All right, this is where I think Sculptress is amazing, is this kind of stuff. Let's do this. Um, for making stuff like teeth, and I don't want to mess with a mesh, it's the best. All right, let's plot this out some, with symmetry. All right. I have a feeling I should show a little bit of gum. Okay. Okay. Oh man. Okay, here we go. I keep saying okay, trying to think. Just kind of roughing this in. Don't know why I'm doing noises, but I am. Um, I could draw them on a cylinder and extract it. I'm just going to sculpt them directly on a cylinder instead. You'll see. And I might do upper teeth, bottom teeth. But... I'm going to just kind of do this, I think. Just kind of have fun with it. And then I might redo these in the front to just help with it. That's right, I'm self hyping. That's a good way to put it. Let's do this. Most things, you just got to start, you know, and put stuff down. Like, I, I, I'm working on this one thing at work today. With, uh, I have to set all these body type things, like different body types we want to use. And um, I knew my first pass wasn't going to be the best, but I had to just drop it, lay stuff down. So I, I've been working on it, put it down, and put it all together knowing very well that, you know what, this is going to get railed. And you know what, that's okay. You just got to start. Is Brian here? Brian, are you still here? Can I see my viewership? I'd be curious if you would you'd sculpt these all in one mesh or do upper teeth and lower teeth. I kind of want to do one mesh because I want this is going to be printed. I don't see why I can't. All right, let me pull this down. And I love Sculptress. So good. So good. I 
That's awesome you're starting 3D classes. Taking them at a school online, how are you doing it? It's it's every time you get to start class that you're pumped about, that's that's always really nice. Oh, nice. Very cool. Is it first year for you? What, where are you at? All right. Awesome. Sophomore year. So you've already done some. That's cool. That's exciting. That'll be fun. Do you have any big projects planned for the year? Like, it, so, like, when you go to full sale, can you tell us what is? Is there like a focus type program? Because do they do animation, 3D? What's what's the deal there? Like, what what program are you in? How's it work? I'd be curious. Be curious to hear. I take it, by the way, Brian is not here still. Brian Wania, who's commenting earlier. If uh, you guys don't know his work, you should check it out. It's really good. And he teaches a lot. He has a couple classes. He's a buddy of mine. He got on here to make a couple comments and then left. All right, so let's see if we kind of like what we have here for layout. Maybe not going this way. I think I probably should have those go back. Should probably go like that. That should go like this, so they kind of go together a bit more. I'm just starting to carve these in a little bit more. So basically with the nice thing about doing it this way is I can Just kind of work this out and then I can carve them in like so. Yes, they're not production ready in the sense of like I can separate them and all that, but they're going to do the job for a solid mesh to print. Oh, let me read that, Neo. What did you write? Oops, ah, shoot, my chat program's doing something weird. Just a sec. All right. So you're going for game art bachelors, and so far we have covered a lot of the basics, traditional artworks, animation, and Maya, lighting, and such. We haven't touched ZBrush yet, although I got impatient and started self-teaching with it a year ago. Most of our classes have been covering general studies like math, entertainment, and industry, etc. That's cool. So next 14 months, all 3D. So do you have any idea of what you want to do coming out of Full Sail yet? Like a plan? Because Full Sail is four years, right? Make sure you work hard. Because one thing is for sure, between everyone I work with that went to school or not, the people who've done well, they work hard. Oh, so they have an online program. Okay. I did not realize that. I did not know that at all, actually. But yeah. Make sure to work real hard. Oh my goodness, there's a cricket on my floor. Just a second. Let me get it. Got it. Let me get a towel. You do not want the cricket um, getting somewhere and making noises. Sorry, guys. When um, all right. 
I'm back. Um, main goal is character artist. Um, that's good. Then I'd say focus as much as you can on character art, especially about full sale. Everything you can do, do that. Because full sale, um, yeah. Just put as much as you can into that, into character art. Um, why didn't I make the teeth separately to merge them? Because I just wanted to draw them straight on. It might be easier. It may not be. Like, I mean, you could make them separately. But I'll I'll be done with these pretty quick. Doing it this way also. Because I can also do a thing where... Um, like, let's see here. Like, for example... Sometimes I try not to overthink some of these things, especially on personal projects. Uh, maybe just make it like a way I feel like making it. Don't really think through too much. And sometimes just drawing it can be actually quite quick. So. And really what I need to, and what I could even do is like say I just do this top layer, get these top teeth to a point I want, and maybe I do do what you're saying where I then duplicate this mesh and then do the bottom and kind of work them together you know that that type of thing sorry I'm just reading they sent me a new MacBook Pro dang they sent you all that that's cool that's nice they do that part of the program Um, it'll look 3D enough if I actually spend the time sculpting it. We'll see, though. I'm not, I, I would never just draw it like this. It's just how I'm doing it right now. And like I was saying, I might, I might do a lower set here in a second. Might be the easier way to go. In a moment, but first plotting them out. All right. I make sure this goes all the way back. Oh, have you not seen the whole thing? Have you just joined since uh, the teeth have been in progress? Yes, it's a shark. Oh, man, I don't know if I like... I almost might need to do bigger, fewer teeth. And I spent all that time doing that. Let me see. That's why you do it quick. I guess I didn't spend that much time doing it, but I should have been looking like this the whole time. Let me think. I think I want fewer teeth. What's up? Welcome from India. That's awesome. Welcome indeed. I love it when people from other places join in. Oops. Didn't mean to work away that tooth. I'll just do this. Clip it. All right, cool. All right. All 
All right, so I think I'm going to do two meshes here. Let me actually hold on real quick. I'm going to duplicate this. Hide one. Now I'm basically going to carve out everything from these upper teeth. Like so. We're going to carve them all out. What made me want to become a digital artist? Um, I'd probably more ask, like, what made me want to be a character artist, at least for me. I grew up playing video games all my life video games and sports and one day it kind of dawned on me like it'd be really cool to make them it wasn't really a thing back then that I was aware of how to do it you know like I knew people must make them but I remember playing like Final Fantasy 7 seeing those cinematics kind of being like man these are really awesome and um, thinking that'd be cool and that was during my high school time when I was introduced to that game. And uh, and I had some buddies in high school who did 3D. And they kind of showed me the ropes of some basics. And I just started screwing around with it. And kind of exploring how it worked. And through that I, I definitely gained an interest in in just 3D in general. But I, I really didn't know much to be honest. I, I super noob. And um, so after high school, I started looking into it and I had um, my brother knew some people that ran a little animation studio in Colorado where I'm from. And so I basically just contacted them and asked if I could be an intern. And they're like, yep. And I just kind of started learning from them. And that's really where I dug into learning more about making characters and really uh, learned a lot from them. But before that, my primary thing was I, I kind of started just learning about 3D, you know, and knew like, oh, video games use 3D and just started just doing it on my own. Honestly, I just made stuff. But it was hard to find much for resources back then like it is now. Oh, wow, what's up? I don't know how to read that, but welcome. I'm sorry. Um, so that's pretty much how I started, and then I was an intern for a little bit, and then um, got a job. And that's my thing. Got a job at a studio in California, and I moved out here, and I've been here since. That's pretty much it. That's my, my story, in a nutshell. Sorry, just giving these depth real quick. Have it not reading at the moment. All right. Going back reading stuff. Have a similar start as Final Fantasy VII that got me interested into how games are made as a kid, and my uncle got me into 3, 3ds Max. Yeah, I, 3ds Max was the first thing um, I kind of dug into as well. Everyone was getting it. it. Wasn't Maya till I became an intern. Should you get ZBrush Core? Um, I honestly don't know much about ZBrush Core. I don't know what that does. <clears throat> Maybe someone here can answer that a little better. Depends your needs. What what are you wanting to use ZBrush with for? What do you want to do? Maybe that would help someone give some advice. So is ZBrush Core just a subscription based version? Is that all it is? 
Or is core the one that just comes with a certain set of like sculpting features and Doing a little inflate really helps set some of these things in. Then we can polish them up. Subscription. So there's limitation on poly count. Some features are locked. Beginner, I bought it before full sale, sent me the full license. It's true, there's a sculptress. It's free. Um, if you're just wanting to learn some basic sculpting and, and cores cheaper, then there's probably some value to that. There are other things like sculptress. There's also like blend, you know, other things to try. I like ZBrush. Everyone uses it. The a huge uh, pro to ZBrush is um, the community. Yeah. Yeah, ZBrush has a lot of YouTube. You know, a lot of people using it, like streams and stuff too. So there's a lot of benefit there, even if you're a beginner. And if it's in your budget, then awesome. But yeah, if you're just learning, you might not need the full feature set, if that's what you're wondering then. Which is most things, right? You probably just need to learn to um, sculpt basics. Yes, definitely using a tablet. You have to. I mean, you don't have to, but I can't imagine doing this without it. There is a, a certain amount I can do without it, but um, really, it's only when I'm doing like moving and blocking in large forms. I would even consider not using a tablet. My goodness, it's already 11, 12, 15. My goal is to stop at midnight tonight. Gives me 45 minutes. These teeth are the main project here this evening. Actually, it's the main thing I have to get done anyway, so it's all good. Hopefully, we'll do it. So I don't want to spend too much longer on this. We should probably move to the bottom set, sort those out, and then massage the two together, I'm thinking. Yeah, you have to get a tablet. There's a lot of options for tablets out there at this point. Um, I can't even name them off the top of my head, but if you do a little research, Wacom, you don't have to buy. There's some really good versions that you can get these days. So definitely look into it. All right, let's push all these back now. Let's do this bottom row. All right, it's go time. And also, you you just have to, if you want to, I mean, like, if you had absolutely no access to a tablet, that's one thing, I guess. You could still try to use the software, but you're not going to really maximize it. Yeah, if the Bamboo makes them, there's also a few new brands out there that are making really good, affordable tablets. Um... 
think it's called like the one or something, isn't it? There's something like that. A couple cheap options. So I'm use some bigger brushes here to kind of get these shapes going. Quickly block these out before we get too far. Oh, Huion. Is that the brand name? Huion? Huion? How do you say that? Yeah, so anyways, you can see there's some good options for tablets. For sure. Right, you got to get your tablet on. And I even use tablet for uh, less so now. I'm not sure why, but even to this day I do. But um, I use it for everything, like Maya, anything, basically anything on the computer, really. I think they're great. It's asymmetrical at this point. Mm. Yeah, the nice thing about ZBrush is it's just so fast. I get it. Man, I don't have a lot of stories tonight. I'm trying to think. Because we did the last... Are you guys going to Zebra Summit coming up? Or any of the expos in town? In LA, by chance? If any of you that are here. Zebra Summit will be cool. It's always fun to watch online too. Oh man, game solo dev. Yeah, you got to be tight. Good luck with that. That's an adventure. Making game by yourself is hardcore. And this is so messy what I'm doing right now. Um, yeah, if you don't live it out here, it'd be tough to fly out for conventions to LA. It'd be expensive. Yeah, going solo game devs hardcore. Um, how long have you been doing that? Making your own game. And do you have like a timeline in mind for yourself or anything like that? Or is it, how's that working? I have a lot of respect for people that try to make their own games. That's, that's a real endeavor to undertake. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, promoting your game is the very tough part as well. Just making it, and then you got to promote it, sell it, which is very tough. Oh, shoot. I did all that without symmetry on. Hmm. All right. Not a big deal. I shall just mirror over what I can. Let me save before I do this. Just in case. Let me save this guy. All right, Neo. Good luck tonight. Don't eat too many donuts tomorrow for class. Have a good night. Let's see here. Seventy percent symmetry found. Actually, I'm going the wrong way, anyways. I need to go that way. This is bad news. Actually, I don't think it's going to find symmetry at all because I've been doing sculptures. Dang it. Okay, I went at the mirror and weld. That's my fault. All right, oh well. Let's do that. Mirror and weld. And I'll redo the middle. Well, you've had your project finished for a while. Decades, but I've been more serious about trying to get a product finished for maybe five years now. Yeah, it's hard, man. I tried about four different games, got most of them done, and kind of get sidetracked. Yeah, just finishing these projects can be tough on your own. You, you have to really set clear goals and things for yourself, I'd imagine, to just complete stuff. And then figure out what it is you're wanting to sell, or if you're trying to sell, or if you're just trying to make a product for people to play, even if it's free. You probably, got, you probably need to have really clear goals when you're doing indie stuff, or else you could probably really spin your wheels, I would think. Going, doing your own games is, is just like all these aspects of a game that when you make, you don't realize you have to do. When you do it yourself, you're responsible for all of it. That's what's crazy. All right, let's see here. Where are we getting? All right, those are going there. Like that. We'll massage these together now. Then we can clean them up. Sure, yeah, you can post me a link. If you don't mind sharing it, if I can share it on the stream. Look at it for a second. Is it just an image? Thanks, Matt. We're getting there. I need to, I think, sort this tooth out, which honestly I think is pretty good there. I just need to go paint the lower gums. 
let me turn off the shark body. Oh, I do not need all this. Get this out of the way. And probably what I can do is merge all this into one thing. I guess I don't have to. I do not see the URL. This is looking weird. So I need to make these central teeth asymmetrical at this point. You know what might not let you post links because um, I don't run this Twitch channel. This is Pixel Logics, and they might have rules set for that. But if you find me on Instagram and you want some thoughts or feedback on something, are you on Instagram? If so, you can hit me up there, and I'm more than happy to give you some thoughts when I get a chance. Do you see the link in the video? Yeah, I see the dot, but is that CC backslash? That's not a link. I don't have any way to click on it. What's up, F1? I is it F one A A's? I should ask. How, how, how am I supposed to pronounce that? Phase F one A's. Oh, just Fay. Okay, cool. What's up? How's it going? Well, if you go to my website, uh, KateandCalloway com, I think it's on this stream. You'll find a contact me thing there. You can contact me. I can give you some feedback when I get some some time. If you would like to do that. No problem. And these lower teeth are not as pretty as the upper ones. They are ugly. Ugly. All right, got to figure out what to do here. Almost to the finish line on these teeth. Also these upper ones. Make these a little more asymmetrical. It 
sometimes easier to just sculpt in non-asymmetry, or sorry, in asymmetry than trying to figure out stuff after it being symmetrical. You almost spend more time sometimes trying to solve that. Oh my goodness. I'm struggling with this center section. Let me go to these other areas that I know are at least decent. Yeah, asymmetrical teeth, definitely. Ah, oh, shoot. All right. Get some nice depth on these. Looking pretty good. Just need to clean them up a little bit. Get some nice planes. Oh yeah, Art Station's great for inspiration. Definitely check it out. You're going to find a lot of people on there that are awesome. Definitely check it out. I'll go on Art Station and And, um, man, there's so many good people on there. It's just like, <laughs> you're like, oh, it can hurt the stomach. But it's great. A lot of good inspiration, indeed. Got to get inspired. Even after working in the industry for quite a while, I still go on there and you're like, wow, these people are awesome. And it makes you want to get better. There's always someone out there that's just crushing it. Or just doing insane stuff in ZBrush. I, I'm like always shocked that people do... <laughs> Quickly be humbled. All right. So now I need to just start polishing these things up. Find nice planes. Honestly, it might be worth I like remesh a lot of this. Yeah, you don't even see these lower gums on these ones. This might not even matter. 
basically just see this stuff. I just want them to look like they're coming together nicely. That's about it. So I don't care if it's ugly behind it. Just kind of sink them all in together here. Am um, I doing this as if in 2.5D? <laughs> kind of. I mean, I could have tried to build all this in full teeth, but it would have taken me, well, I don't know. Maybe it wouldn't have been as long. It depends how I would have approached it. I started it this way and I'm finishing this way. I'm committed. I got this. Now I'll do these gums here. It's going to be awesome. How well can you go low rest uh, normal bake with ZBrush for game ready asset? Uh, it depends. Like if if you aren't worried about your topology and like it's kind of higher res, I'd say ZBrush can do it. If you want lower res with very specific angles, it gets a little trickier um, unless you rebuild your whole mesh in here, which you could, I guess, do it all in here. Um, but someone correct me here if I'm wrong real quick, but I don't think they do normal baking anymore in ZBrush. They used to. I'm not aware of how to do it in here anymore. It used to have an actual normal map baker, but I think they ripped it out. I don't know if that's even a thing. But if yeah, if you need very specific topology, and I suggest doing it elsewhere, there are ways to do it in here. You could rebuild it all, just like any 3D program, you know. But um, depends your goals. All right, let's fill all these gums in, nice and chunky. Yeah, so I'm getting somewhere on this now. Pretty happy. I mean, honestly, I'd clean up a little bit more of this. But it works pretty good. I could probably just now go around and make sure I have just get good interlocking here. A little polish. What I missed there? What are you guys saying? So I'm backing up raining. Yep, they have hacksaw like saw blades. Yep. Sorry, I'm just reading right now. All right, yep. Yeah, I'm probably not going to do serrated teeth for this guy. He's a little cartoon dude. 
if anything I need to keep them simple and they're a little wobbly at the moment to be quite honest um, I probably need to find ways to smooth all this out and one option is to remesh it nice and low I'm gonna try it here in a second see what happens All right. All right. Let's see what happens if I remesh. So the thing you can start to notice here, if you want to get really specific, you're starting to get. I'm starting to get wobbly in a lot of these spots, which is not great. Uh, a few ways to handle this. One, if I go solo, I can kind of look at this and kind of know what to expect from topology. If I really cut this in, it should help. So let me try and do that real quick. And then we'll do Z remesh it. This might work all right, actually. And then let's check this out also. My crazy looking mesh. Just cutting this in to help Z remesher. Let me save this. Let's see, remesh it. I'll keep it lower. Let's see how this goes. Oh, I need to fix this right here. This is going over. Oh, see, this actually did all right. Now, if I smooth it, I should start to... Oh, shoot, did I see remesh mirrored? Yeah, I did. Honestly, it doesn't even bother me that much. I could just fix it now. Fold this in. these teeth in this I too am going to Z remesh but not symmetrical and then clean this all up so what time are we at oh my gosh it's 11:45. I'm not going to finish this tonight I have to go to bed here soon but time has flown tonight goodness just on teeth it's amazing what you can spend on one little area. My YouTube, I don't, honestly, I don't really do YouTube. Uh, again, it's, if you look me up on Instagram, it's Art of Katen. You should see it um, down here in the middle. 
Um, or I think Kate and Calloway, I have a YouTube channel, but I don't really upload content there. You can find my website, kateandcalloway.com. Main place if I post anything is on Instagram. I don't do a lot of social beyond that. Just a lot to keep up with. So that's about it for me, social wise. And then I have like some courses and stuff on Gumroad uh, you might find as well. If you ever want to learn something. Like I have a full game character course. I used to teach, but I do not anymore. like how you called me streamer host. That's funny. That's me, the streamer host. Awesome. Thanks for the sub, Matt. Yeah, on there I'll post a bit of everything. ZBrush stuff and just personal art painting. As you probably noticed. Yeah, I gotta go to bed tonight. All right, let's do clay polish here, but there we go. I like clay polish for this kind of stuff. Just kind of polish it up. Give myself some planes. Reinforce all that. Let's do it on here too. Yeah, you're on. You're definitely on the official ZBrush channel. I, Matt, how did you how did you find this? Not knowing this was ZBrush. Hey, good morning, Paris. Awesome. Good evening from California. Matt, if you do not know this was ZBrush, how did you find your way here? I'm very curious. Did you show up on the Twitch? I oh, know you're on YouTube. Gotta give me some insight on how you found your way here then. Yeah, most people watching are probably ZBrush users. Um, or have background in that. Or learning. Oh, nice. That's awesome. So on YouTube, that's uh, how you found it. That's cool. Guess that's why we have it all set up, right? So that people can discover it. Glad you came. Yeah, the art channels are fun. Indeed. So Z remeshing these actually helps simplify the shapes a bit, which is good. So now it's just a matter of cleaning all this up, which actually can take a lot of time, always more than you expect. A little wobbly right here. 
smooth that out. Polish it down the middle. You know, I was hoping I was going to finish this tonight, but these teeth have taken longer than expected. <laughs> the only streams getting promoted are like dogs taking baths, people opening figures. It's true. And also, it's hard to find uh, probably a lot of art streams. Like, how many people are doing them? I mean, there's probably a lot doing them, but it's probably hard to find uh, um, quality ones, too. The, Z the Pixelogic one, you're going to find... So, if you follow this YouTube channel... You'll see regular, pretty solid. I mean, everyone on this Pixelogic stream is really solid artist. So you should have pretty good content just watching people on this one. Really. All using ZBrush, of course. A lot of really good people. And you can go back and watch a lot of them, too. I, I, YouTube and Twitch. Twitch does at least. I assume YouTube does, too, that you can go back and watch the old streams. It's a lot of them. Um, are you talking about the Disney animator? Um, he does a lot of stuff. Um, what was his name? I'm spacing. Uh, oh, goodness, what's his name? Are you talking about the new Lion King or the old Lion King? All right. It's actually in a decent spot. Yeah, it's hard to remember names sometimes. All right, this is not too bad. Too bad in the end. Yeah, this la especially if you want to 3D print something, I'm like going to be a lot more particular about it now than if I wasn't. <laughs> takes forever to polish this stuff up. You gotta kind of go through and just massage everything. Like make sure, like I have a little, weird little wobble right here. Like that. Should pull straight through. Yeah, Aaron Blaze, thank you. Yeah, he does a lot of content actually. Um, he's definitely worth following. Aaron Blaze? Wait, my shark is ripped or Aaron Blaze is ripped? I got a couple minutes here before I gotta go. So, the last step on this really is gonna be like this. I should probably pose the body. Hmm. 
<laughs> it's funny about Aaron Blaze. Hmm, let me think here. Oh, my battery's low on my tablet. Ooh. Oh yeah. Look at him. Just twisted. No, this guy's not surfing. He's hanging out by the beach though indeed. I've been well, Apple Tooth. Or Apple Lettuce. Which one? How have you been? How have you been? Alright, so that's going to be a matter of fixing all this. It's time to go asymmetrical. I kind of like app lettuce. Apple juice. Apple juice sounds, it flows better than app lettuce, but app lettuce is funny. Alright, let's put this back. It's just a character of mine. Um, basically, when Shark Week was happening a few weeks back, like a month ago, uh, I started this stream and we, um, I basically said, I, I did a little sketch and said we're going to do a shark design. And I've just been having fun with it since. And I, I'm pretty much close to being done with it. I was hoping tonight I would have time to finish it, but I got to, I gotta head out here in a minute, so I don't think my goal is gonna totally hit, but much closer. The teeth we started working on tonight took a little longer than I thought. So now it's a matter of polishing this whole thing up for printing, because a buddy of mine of mine's gonna print it. Or at least he said he was. We'll see. Um, which would be cool. And to print it needs a little bit of prep to print properly. Can't be as lazy about some of it. So... Yes, that is where I'm at on this. Cool, Matt. I'll check it out when I get a chance. Thanks. I'm glad you like it. This Honestly, this has been a pretty fun little project. It kind of has come together. Um, when I started it, I honestly didn't know what to expect. It's just to have fun and, um, 
And then I, I really enjoyed it the first week, so then I kind of continued it. The last two streams I've worked on it. So probably like after tonight, after tonight, probably like eight hours maybe working on this thing. It's not too bad. So we definitely can get more bulging on this side. And then let it stretch over here. Yep, he's flexing all right, this guy. <laughs> Got them neck creases, got to have them. Yeah, at this point, I pretty much need to go through and pick and choose, pop where I want stuff to really kind of come through and so forth. Well, welcome to the channel. I'm not the only one that streams on here. This is the Pixelogic channel for ZBrush. And I'm one of... Uh, group of people that stream off this one. So this all right here, this is all kind of nasty. Um, to finish this off, I probably should remesh this whole character and clean up these spots where you can see like, uh, I'm getting this like five sided here or three sided, I should say, which is causing bizarre pinching for me. So I need to remesh it and smooth that stuff out go in and um, sculpt fix a lot of these areas. That's not far off. I think I have to leave it at this for the night. Unfortunately, man. Yeah, full bodies are, are, are tough. Um, I'm trying to think who to look at. You can go, honestly, if, if you're on Twitch, you can go back and there's tons of videos of sculpting. Um, if you go back every two weeks, you should see my stuff because I only do this every other week. Um, but you can watch old footage. You can also look me up on Instagram. I personally have some stuff I, I teach off Gumroad if you want to check it out uh, under Kate and Calloway. You should be able to see my name at the bottom of the stream tonight. But otherwise, there's a lot of good people who stream on here, so you know definitely keep checking in. You can follow me on Instagram. If you have questions, you can always hit me up. But I do have to step away or else I'll keep going. Man, I am so close to getting far enough on this. These things just always take longer than you expect, right? Especially when you're trying to polish something. It just takes time. I might have to do this in one more session. One more session. Yeah, of course. 
Um, if you need help, feel free to contact me. I can try my best. I, I'm on limited time, so it might take me a bit to respond, but I'll help. But honestly, I'd recommend just jumping in on these streams. They have a schedule, um, I believe, on the channel you can look at. Otherwise, go to ZBrush Live. I think ZBrushLive.com and lots of people on there, and they and they show the schedule there. I think. Man, I wonder if I should have done that huge grin on both sides. But you can see where the mesh is getting wonky. It's because I I really pushed it around tonight. It was not made for this. Uh, for sure, it's best to use a uh, tablet for sculpting. For sure. <laughs> All right. If you're just modeling, you can get away with a, a mouse, you know, but if you're sculpting, Definitely invest in a, a tablet. All right. As much as I want to keep sculpting, I think I'm going to call it an evening. Let's pose them out here. Just hanging out. So close to being done. So close. Look at him. So happy. Just grinning away. Man. Actually, let's do this real quick. I'm going to send him to key shot. Do, 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 do. Key shot. Here he comes. I'm going to open my um, other scene with him. One last question. I'm curious, can these models be squashed and stretched for animation? Um, if they're set up for animation, yes. This is just geometry. You'd have to make a rig, you know? And, um, okay, here he was before we started, just plain old teeth. Now he's his, his big grin. Oh, sorry, I guess I was saying here he was. I was referring to key shot, but you guys couldn't see it. Let me send it over there. We're going to switch over to key shot. There he is with his old teeth, importing new teeth, incoming. Aha. Oh, weird. Look, his glove. His glove's in the wrong spot. Bizarre. Let's try that again. Weird. A couple of these parts aren't coming in in the correct the correct spots. Yeah, you'd have to have a good... I mean, the thing about ZBrush is you can make a lower res mesh. That's not as much of a problem. But yeah, you, you'd have to set up... Uh, uh, I'm going to have to render this later. I definitely like his smile more now. But for some reason, the shirt and glove are coming in all wrong. <laughs> oh well. Oh, it does work? Okay. Let's do it. Thanks for that pro tip. I probably should rename these anyways. Shirt. Glove. Let me look. Let's try now. Do you know why my window's small? Yeah, it did work. Look at that. Uh, it's taking on my wrong materials, though. I, I wish it used the proper ones I had the scene set up with. That's too bad. I thought for sure I'd keep my old settings. Let's 
Let's see here. Got to use them plastics. Uh, let's drop this here. Make it pink. Does not need to be this shiny. Yes, Apple Tooth, you have a good night too. I'm going to set this up real quick before I go, even though I keep saying I'm going to go. Let's give them um, shiny teeth. Perfect. We can make those even more neutral. Excellent. Let's go to our translucent. So if any of you haven't seen this before, this is just uh, ZBrush's link to Keyshot. Why is my translucent stuff missing? What is happening? I don't know why my window's so little. That's also bizarre. Wait, what's this geometry view? I've never seen that. Hmm. Not where, sure where my translucent materials went. Really weird. Well, we can do this. Oh, look, I can pick translucent in here. Interesting. Weird. Well, I need to split the teeth mesh from the gum mesh to get them. Uh, if if you wanted to use completely different materials, yes. I would need to split it all up. But in the case how I'd render this personally, I'd probably um, not do that. Just keep it on one. Or just do like a couple of renders. All right, now we got to do this. Set that one up, perfect. Then we're going to go to There we go. Oh. Let's see. Put that there. <laughs> oh, and then the leather. Oh, man. All right, there we go. Awesome. Jawsome. Awesome jawsome. Except for I'm not sure why this window is so tiny. Hmm. Hmm. 
All right, I'm going well past my my time. Let's see here. No, workout shark. Workout shark. Oh, I might need to twist his hand now, actually. All right, guys. I'm going to head out now. Let's leave this guy like this. <laughs> I wonder if I tone down the environment some more. All right, I'm going hit to the, hit the bed. Thanks for hanging out, everyone. Like I always say, I'm here every other week, every two weeks. Um, otherwise, there's other people on this stream all the time, which are awesome also. You can find me at Art of Caton on Instagram. That's a primary place if you ever want to hit me up or something. Um, and then... Uh, I'll be here in a couple weeks, I guess. And yes, it does have boxing glove feel. It's a strap. You ever seen the workout gloves that have straps? Anyways, guys, have a good night. Thank you for hanging out. Hope you appreciated the Jawsome character we had there. Appreciate all the thoughts, fun, hanging out and talking. Have a good night, everyone. See you.